Hey guys, what's up? It's Julia and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be answering your questions about acting. I really hope this video is helpful. Let's just get started. So the first question is, how did you get into acting and what inspired you? My parents put me in musical theater when I was very little and I fell in love with it and I'm still doing it to this day. I loved acting and performing in musicals, but I had no experience acting on camera and my parents are not in the business, so I didn't have like a relative to help me get started. When I was, I don't know, maybe 11 or 12, I really wanted to get more I don't want to say serious, but I definitely had an interest for on-camera acting and my parents are incredibly supportive and so we kind of just started going on that journey together. I think what inspired me the most were the Disney Channel shows that I watched. I watched Jesse, Dog with the Blog, and Good Luck Charlie. Seeing those kids on TV living in these well, okay, let's face it, we all wanted those Disney Channel bedrooms that were just beautiful. I don't know, I thought living in this alternative universe in Disneyland it was really cool. Definitely the kids on those shows inspired me a lot. I also loved Wizards of Waverly Place. I remember my mom wouldn't let me watch it for a long time for some reason, so when I started watching it, it was a very big deal. How do I get started? This is probably the most frequent question I get asked on my YouTube channel, and before anything, I would say research. Find resources in your town, like community theaters, improv groups, programs at your school, acting classes. Don't worry if you're feeling overwhelmed. There are probably opportunities in your area that you can take advantage of that will lead, trust me, one thing leads to the next. So you wanna get involved, whether it's just signing up for a comedy class or improv classes are great or anything you can do to get involved, I would absolutely recommend. Watch interviews and YouTube videos about acting. There is so much you can learn from YouTube. Luckily, there are so many people in the industry who share knowledge for free on YouTube and on Spotify, through podcasts, and just on the internet. So I talked about this in my past videos, but don't feel like you have to spend all this money to learn when it comes to acting. Of course, you're going to have to take classes and spend money at some point, but there is so much information on YouTube and on the internet for free to take advantage of. Reach out to people who are doing what you want to be doing and ask for advice and guidance. Find people who are are doing what you hope to be doing and try to learn from them. Maybe reach out and ask for advice. Asking for advice is always great because everyone loves sharing wisdom and sharing what they've learned. How do you deal with audition nerves and doubts? I'm still trying to figure that one out. <laughs> I know this sounds so cliche, but preparation is key. The nerves that you have because you aren't prepared are very different from the nerves that you have because you're just excited and you just want to do it. In my experience, I have found that when I'm waiting for an audition or a performance or anything that makes me nervous, and I'm nervous and excited, anxious because I just want to do it, I'm able to control, well, I've learned how, I'm no, I am learning how to control those emotions and nerves. But when I am nervous because I am not prepared, I feel like I'm going to fall on my face because I do not know what I am doing, that is not good. And sometimes you can't really avoid those situations. I mean, sometimes you get to an audition and you thought you prepared the right material or the way they wanted it and then you just are in a situation where you're not so prepared and that happens, that's just, it's just part of it. When you are in a situation where you have to do something that you didn't prepare, think back to all the things that you've learned in classes and from your research and you probably are more prepared than you think. Take the opportunity in classes to make the mistakes so you are more prepared for anything to happen in an audition. You can't let all of your value come from getting a role or booking a job. This is a lot harder said than done. You also want to have things that make you happy and fulfill you creatively outside of the project that you're auditioning for or your acting class. For me, that's songwriting, I play the piano, and making YouTube videos, and things that I do, I don't want to say for myself because obviously I want to share these things with as many people as possible and hopefully inspire as many people and reach as many people as possible but these are creative activities that are self-driven versus going to an audition is still self-driven but someone is expecting you and wanting something out of you does that make sense 
it's really difficult when that is your only sense of accomplishment and validation when someone else is saying yes to you. So when you have things outside of your auditions and acting to keep you sane and fulfill you, other projects to pour your creative energy into, then you are just excited about this possibility of a new project, but you're not nervous because there's no other way you're going to be able to express yourself. I have some friends who before an audition will go find a quiet corner and do some breathing exercises or just take a moment to themselves, which I think is so great. And I mean, you don't want to rely on something like that because in some you know cases, you're not going to have a chance to go off and kind of prepare yourself for an audition. But just having little breathing exercises or maybe a little like mantra you can do in your head before you go into an audition. So the more you can kind of connect with yourself and just focus on what you have to do, the better. Who are your favorite actors and actresses? I'm that kind of person who just loves the entire cast of whatever show that I'm watching. My favorite show of all time in life is Jane the Virgin. I think it is absolutely brilliant. I'm re-watching it right now. And I did meet Yael Groglas who plays Petra. I met her at the Hollywood Bowl and it was the best day of my life. I also love Grey's Anatomy. I've never seen anyone in the Grey's Anatomy cast in person. Penn, is his name Bagley or Bagley? I'm not sure, don't quote me. I never watched Gossip Girl, but he is amazing on you. I love that show. Anyone in those shows, I... Mm. This is another popular question. What can I do if I don't live in LA? Share your talents on social media. Post videos of yourself doing monologues on YouTube and Instagram. I have met such amazing people through my YouTube channel. It's been such a blessing. So you'll never know what opportunities can come out of just sharing your talents and your passions on social media. All of my acting classes are over Zoom right now, which is actually a huge benefit for people who don't live in LA. In my acting class, there are people from all over, from other countries, it's really cool. So you can find classes right now that are usually at studios in LA that are over Zoom, so maybe you can take classes from people who you wouldn't have been able to take class from before. The acting classes that you take don't have to be based in LA. What's really important is the teacher and what they can, you know, their knowledge and what they can teach you. So find the classes that work for you and because most everything is over Zoom right now, at least where I live, that could be a huge benefit to you. So definitely take advantage of that. This leads into the next question. How do you find good acting classes? Research is your best friend, <laughs> always. Research the teachers and the students who've come out of those studios. You don't wanna go to a studio just because of the people who've come out of it because they could be really expensive or the class just could not be right for you. So if you're in a class where you don't feel really comfortable to express yourself to your fullest potential, that just might not be the right, that isn't the right class for you if you feel that way. Try classes at different studios. Maybe you can audit a class and find the class, the teacher, the students. It's so important also, you guys, who else is in your class. You want to be able to connect with the other students because you're going to have to be acting with them and you want to be comfortable in front of them. So definitely try different classes until you find the right one for you. What currently inspires you when it comes to on-camera acting? This is a loaded question. I have been, I think, the most inspired about on-camera acting that I've, in this pandemic, that I have ever been in my entire life. And I think it's because when the world turns upside down, like we've seen in the past, this past year, we turn to entertainment. We turn to our devices to provide us with an escape from reality, TV, film, even YouTube, like watching someone else's, whether it's a vlogger or, you know, um, a TV show, escaping into someone else's universe is really incredible. I feel like entertainment has just always been there for us and now it's proven how important and crucial the arts are for all of us. Obviously, I love theater and I think nothing is more magical in this world than live theater. And Hamilton actually came out on Disney Plus today. I watched about half of it. I saw it at the Pantages. That show is Brilliant. It's just absolutely brilliant. I'm so glad that it's on Disney Plus and so many people are able to experience its brilliance who might have never gotten the chance 
but there's nothing like live theater and I cannot wait for the day when theaters are open again and we can be back in our element and I'm just going to see every single show <laughs> possible. Um, I totally lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Oh, what inspires me? Yeah, I, I think that even though there's nothing more magical than live theater, TV and film has its own magic to it and I have really experienced that magic in this pandemic which inspires me to want to give that magic and share that magic with others. I think the common theme when I'm talking to my other actor friends, like what motivates us, but it comes down to wanting to inspire other people and we've all been affected by TV, film, and art and we just want to, you know, inspire others through what has inspired us. Do you have any tips for memorizing scripts? Lucky for you, I made an entire video about this. I will link that in the description of this video. I have found that when I work on my scripts right before I go to bed, the last thing that I do, I can wake up the next morning and know the lines. Maybe I'm like doing it in my sleep, but that is very helpful for me, doing it right before I go to sleep. Also, when I try to learn a script and I'm on my phone and distracted and I'm like, okay, I'll do one line at a time, it will literally take forever. So do not be distracted, just sit down with your script. You have to just do it until you feel pretty comfortable and then you can kind of take a break, come back to it. I like to cover the other person's line with my hand and just go through to see if I know my lines. It's also really helpful when you're memorizing to think about your intentions for each line while you're memorizing instead of just remembering the words because eventually you're going to have to work on the intention so might as well do it while you're memorizing. The last question is how can I work on my acting in quarantine? I also made an entire video about staying productive as an actor in quarantine that will also be linked in the description. I mean doing everything that we talked about in this video, researching, listening to podcasts, I'll link some of my favorites in the description reading books, reading autobiographies, watching TV and film to study the acting. If you are not in class or are bored and you want to work on your acting, you can always find a script online or even better, write something, memorize it, work on the acting, you know, kind of figure out how you connect to the character and then tape yourself and you can send it to some friends and get their feedback. Feedback is so great from other people because we are very tough judges on ourselves. I don't do this all the time but sometimes when I have an audition or for a class I'll send my tape to some of my actor friends and just hear their feedback and it is so helpful. Yeah I mean there's so many ways you can challenge yourself and grow as an actor without being in class and if you want more tips definitely check out my productive actor quarantine video linked in the description all right you guys we have reached the end of this video thank you so much for watching i really hope i answered some of your questions and i hope that you learned something from this video or got something out of it if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe because tons of exciting content is coming soon and i will see you in my next video bye Did I'm...